and Megan Fitzpatrick is here from our Washington bureau to talk about this. I can't even get these words out of me. Can you believe it? The Pope versus Donald Trump. Yeah, I mean, Donald Trump has taken on a lot of people so far in this race, Reshmi. I didn't think I'd be sitting here talking about what he has said about the Pope. So where this is all coming from is because during Pope Francis' six-day trip to Mexico, he made a visit to close to the U.S.-Mexico border, near the spot where a lot of people try and cross illegally, and many people have died doing so. Pope Francis said mass there. He called it a humanitarian crisis that so many people have uh, tried fleeing their homes to get into the United States. So on his flight back, he was asked, well, what do you think about Donald Trump's plan to round up the 11 million illegal immigrants here in the United States and his plan to build a wall at the Mexican border to prevent more illegal immigration? And as you said, he did not hold back in his response. Here's part of what he said uh, to reporters on the plane. Pope Francis said, A person who thinks only about building walls wherever they may be and not building bridges is not Christian. This is not in the gospel. Now, Pope Francis went on uh, to acknowledge that he hasn't had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Donald Trump about his border plans, but basically from what it sounds like, he said Trump is not a Christian. Now, Trump's the one that's known for speaking his mind and telling it like it is, but Pope Francis has a bit of a reputation for being blunt as well. He did note that he is not advising American Catholics on who they should vote for, but nonetheless, his comments certainly are making some headlines here. So... Trump's already reacted as he would. What's he saying? Oh, he sure did. He uh, quickly issued a statement, Reshmi, and he also read that statement at an event that he had on the campaign trail this morning in South Carolina, where he and the other Republican candidates are gearing up for this Saturday's uh, primary. Uh, he did not hold back, calling the Pope disgraceful for questioning his commitment to his faith and also putting some blame on Mexico, basically saying that the Mexican government put the Pope up to this. We're going to run a clip of what Trump said. It's quite long. Have a listen. The Pope. The Pope was in Mexico. Do you know that? Did everyone know, right? He said negative things about me because the Mexican government convinced him that Trump is not a good guy because I want to have a strong border. I want to stop illegal immigration. I want to stop people from being killed, like Kate in San Francisco, like Jamil in Los Angeles, like the incredible woman veteran, 65 years old, who's raped, sodomized, and killed by an illegal immigrant, okay? So the Mexican government fed the Pope a tremendous amount of stuff about Trump is not a good person. And the Pope just made a statement. Can you imagine? I just got a call. As I'm walking up here, they said, Mr. Trump, the Pope made a statement about you. I said, the Pope? <laughs> what did the Pope say? I like the Pope. I mean, was it good or bad? Because if it's good, I like the Pope. If it's bad, I don't like the Pope. <laughs> no, it's true. So I guess this is a little bit for the press. So I just wrote this out very quickly about the Pope. Do you want to hear it? Should I read it to you? OK. He actually said that maybe I'm not a good Christian or something. It's unbelievable, which is really not a nice thing to say. So it's a response from Donald Trump. It says, if and when the Vatican is attacked by ISIS. You know, ISIS, their primary trophy, very few people know this. I read this about two months ago. Nobody even believed it. Their primary thing, you've seen what they've done all over the Middle East. Their primary goal is to get to the Vatican. That would be their ultimate trophy. They want to do what they did to all of these magnificent artifacts and all of the beautiful museums that they've totally destroyed all over the Middle East, right? They're, and I didn't know this. I read this like four or five months ago. I made mention of it two months ago, and everyone said, what are you talking about? They thought, like, I'm kidding. It's true. And now there are stories about it, not big stories, but there are stories about it. And I was checked by one of the reporters that said, they don't want to talk about the." Then he called up and apologized. The big thing, they want to get to the Vatican. So if and when the Vatican is attacked by ISIS, which, as everyone knows, is ISIS's ultimate trophy, I can promise you that the Pope would have only wished and prayed that Donald Trump would have been president. Because it's true. It's true. Because this would not have happened. ISIS would have been eradicated, unlike what is happening now, with our all-talk, no-action politicians. That's what's happening now. So they met with the Pope, and they obviously got to the Pope, and they're telling him what a bad guy Donald Trump is. He doesn't know me. 
and, you know, et cetera. So let me, the Mexican government and its leadership has made many disparaging remarks about me to the Pope because they want to continue to rip off the United States, both on trade and at the border. That's what they're doing. They're ripping us off. And they understand that I am totally wise to them. And if I'm president, we'll stop it immediately, okay? Immediately. So there are a strong and lengthy response from Trump, Rashmi. But uh, Pope Francis is not the only one to, to question uh, Trump's faith, rather. He does say he's a, a committed Presbyterian. But uh, there are other Christian leaders who have questioned uh, his uh, commitment to his faith, given some of his past positions on abortion, for example. Trump used to be OK with it. Now he's not. He said his views have evolved. Uh, but there are also Christians who defend Trump, saying, uh, you know, even though he doesn't wear his faith on his sleeve necessarily, it's not for anyone else to judge his commitment to his faith that that's between him and God. Uh, but in terms of this war of words between uh, the Pope and Trump now, Trump also last week when he got wind of the Pope's plans to pay a visit to the U.S.-Mexico border, he called the Pope a political figure. That question was also put to the Pope on the plane on his way back to Rome, uh, asked what he thought about being called a political figure. Pope Francis had no problem with that.